CCM Blender Complete Character Modeling Course. So level one, part three, where we will be unwrapping our and adding a simple texture to our character. So let's begin. Okay, so we completed this model in the first two lectures and now we have to unwrap that. So for that, I have to go to the UV editing panel and let me just zoom in and go to the modifier setting and turn off the subdivision modifier real time preview. So it will help to select our loops easily. If you just turn on this, as you can see, some of our vertex has been hiding behind this thing. So we have to just turn off this thing so it will make it a little easy. And now we have to just alt and shift and left click to just select select the whole loop. And now control E and add a mark seam. <clears throat> so we will be like separating this head from the body in the UV. Okay, so I separate this thing and now I have to separate the whole arm. So I'm just separating this thing. Control E, mark seam. So we separate that. And now what we can do is we can simply do this one like uh, selecting from the top like this one. And shift right click. Control and shift right click and for up to here. Somewhere around here and control E and add a mark seam. So we get like the neck shape separate it and this one and now the whole loop around the uh, around the hand that we made so we can now simply select this thing and we can unwrap this thing if you like having some weird topology this uh, this loop may not be selected so that's why like our topology is pretty much good and the loop of continuity is good so that's why we are not getting any errors so we did this thing and now the next step is to select this one and control shift left click here so we get this loop here control e mark seam and we also have to separate the hip area so control e mark seam and also the feet select make sure that every time you select a loop it's like the whole loop like not like some missing uh, vertices or edges so control e mark seam and also now the top uh, the bottom one so yeah control e mark seam and from here to here control e mark seam yeah so we got that uh the one last one we need to do is just select this one and control shift click here and control e mark seam okay so we are done and now we need to do is uh we have to apply this uh, this mirror modifier because uh, we don't want need our UV to be mirror for now because uh, if you just do the UV uh, in the mirror so we will be like texturing this side and this side will be automatically doing but uh, in most of the cases like you want to make your character uh, looks unique or different from both sides so you also have to break the mirror thing so yeah for that we have to just uh apply this thing so it's good that you learned that how to do like uh, not in mirror how to do this thing manual so i will be just uh doing some more work so the work i need to do is on the head because the head is now a little spheric object and there isn't any of the uh of the cuts so we have to add some cuts so this one from the forehead top of the forehead and control shift left click here I'm sorry uh, lip check uh, lip click here and make sure that uh, it don't select the other places we need just the straight loop so control E and add a mark seam so now what we have let me just see what we have now so as you can see the current UV is like this so we have to update this thing so select all you unwrap and as you can see we get some error that object has non-uniform scale so we have to go to the object mode control a and apply rotation and scale and now we uh, we just uh, select all you unwrap as you can see we got uh, get rid of that uh, error and now as you can see this is what we have okay so let's see that uh, there is any error or not so if you just uh, select the uv as you can see we don't we can't find that uh, which place of the UV is this one so for that we have to just turn on the double arrow this option and now if I just go to the face selection and L to select this Iceland as you can see now I okay <clears throat> so we have to just select this thing that make sure it's fine as you can see this is the back of our uh, 
of our body and this one is the uh, the whole arm <clears throat> this is fine this will be the back of our pant uh, or our body and this is how it's going so it's good there isn't any error if you see uh, any kind of like the shapes and the shirts of like they're not completely broken so you can break that okay one thing i see is that as you can see we have these two little parts but we don't actually need it so we just need one cut here so let me just uh, do some uh, undoing so i will just select this one control e and clear seam and same doing the same thing from this side shift control control shift and left click and control e and make it clear seam so now if i just do and update this thing as you can see our feet should be something like this like the bottom should be separated like this these two and let me just select this thing with l as you can see this is the shape of our feet it should be like the shape of our feet or your uh, shoes in any kind of like this area okay <clears throat> so this is a really good one thing uh, one more thing that you can do is go to the uv and make this uh average iceland scale so you get the correct scale if you don't get and now we can just simply do the pack iceland to just pack this thing over the canvas so now we are ready to texture it so i will just turn on this thing and now uh, also we can do is we can apply this thing so if we just apply it and select all u and unwrap so we can do uh, we can just a little update the uv because if you did it without the uh, applying the subdivision level you might get some minor uh, changes or some minor, minor errors so make sure that at the end you apply the subdivision modifier and then you update your uv okay so it's the it's time to texture it simply in blender so i will be just uh, clicking on new so we get a new texture and this will be like a 2k resolution image so i will be just multiplying the 1k into 2 so multiply by 2 here and multiply by 2 here and we need this thing like a black image or maybe you can do it white so if you did white you will get a white image but we don't need it because i have to uh, show you some more options that how you can uh, fill your texture with a color so i just did it like a blank black image and i will click on ok and as you can see if i zoom out it it's our texture we can simply rename this i will call it uh, simple character texture okay uh, let me just respell this thing okay this is fine now i hope this is fine okay and the next thing that we need to do is to attach this texture to this to apply this uh, texture to this body to this object so i will go to the sharing click on new and here what i can do is i can add some texture node but as you can see if you search uh, for texture node it's a little hard and a little uh, time taken so for that we have to just do it simply we have to go to the edit and preference and then search for an add-on name as not regular so not regular and just turn on these things and make this one save and now if you click on your principal shader and control t you will get the mapping nodes and now i can i can load my image here so it's a the name is simple character texture so i remember this thing and now as you can see this image has been added to our character okay so the next thing is uh, to paint our texture so i will go to the texture paint and here i will select the single image and then we have to choose the image that we have so we have this image and i did it okay the first thing that i have to do is to fill our whole body with one color so i will be just uh, going to the fill fill option and then choosing a color so i will here i will just uh, select this one color like slightly to the back do not do it like exactly white okay so this is a little good and now what we can do is simply left click and you will get this color to this one you can try someone else as you like but for this one i have to just simply set up a black uh, a white image okay the next thing is we have to paint some eyes so i will be just putting the uh, picking the draw brush and picking a color like black and now if i just uh, drag this thing as you can see it's working 
okay before that uh, we have to do some uh, one more thing that we have to do it in in mirror So just scroll your mouse here and you will get this one we can mirror it with the x because we have the x direction here Okay, so now if we just pan this thing, as you can see, it's now mirror. So we can just simply add an eyes here. So I will be just like uh, making some very simple basic eyes. Something like this would be fine. You can also do the small stuff. So you can just uh, make your brush small with like radius from here. And you can do it with the bracket, with the, uh, with the large brackets. And we can do some simple things like this. Okay, so you can use it, but I don't like this small one. I just need some eyes like this. So I will just paint this thing like this one. So let me just scale up my brush and do it something like this. I am just like left clicking more and more to get a little sharper edges. So yeah, and that's it. And now if you want to save your image, you can click here and make it save and this will open the directory that where you want to save so for for like this one i have to just save it on desktop so save as image and now we have to go to the sharing and we can simply call that image which is on our desktop so i'm just calling that and you as you can see it's looking like this this is good and we can do some simple sharing like if you want to add some reflections and adding some specular or metallic if you need if you really need, need these things so yeah you can play with the values and you can also uh do some more texture paint this this is totally up to you so i hope you learn a lot from this video uh in the next lecture we will be adding rig to this character so we will be rigging it and scanning it so i'm like working really hard on this course so if you want to support me please uh subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and for now, bye.